Howdy folks, Kerbo here. This going to be a quick little tutorial. Because, you know what? Shuttle control. That's right. It's finally here thanks to Mowgli, who makes some awesome scripts. He makes the great keyboard steer mod, which I used heavily in Farm Sim 17. Because I primarily played with mouse and keyboard. I've been mostly playing with my uh, wheel. Got a Logitech G27 here in 19. But uh, shuttle control is sorely needed. So here's how I got this to work. I'm going to throw a graphic up on the screen. You need the keyboard steer mod. I'll put a link in the description. You need the development version. It's under development. It's a little buggy. The shuttle part works. But there's a few caveats. So once you have the keyboard steer mod installed, you want to hop in a vehicle. Press left control C. It brings up the little settings menu. And this seems to reset every time you start a game and every time you get in a vehicle after that game is started. But once you set, it seems to stick for that play session, at least for me. But anyway, check your settings if it starts looking weird. I always turn the look backwards off because I don't want it to rotate the camera. I turn adapt adaptive steering on if I'm playing with a keyboard. And this nil, that's your shuttle control. Like I said, it's a little buggy. It's a development version. Keep that in mind. Uh, and you can set, you know, other settings as you want. But this one right here, nil, you want that on. That's what gives you shuttle control. And then the space work. Now, space for me doesn't work. Maybe because of some keybinds I have. If you just click OK, that is saved. So now, let's fire up the tractor. I'm pushing W. On the keyboard, start going. I push S to break. I let go of S, push S again. We don't go backwards. I hit space. We're now in reverse. Push on W for gas. And we go backwards and push S for break. And we stop. Push S for break again. We just have brakes. There's that reverse camera setting that likes to turn itself on. Turn that off. There's me pushing brakes. We don't go backwards anymore. We have a shuttle control. It's awesome. But Kerbo, you may ask, what's up with the F and the R down there when you switch? Um, there is no visual indication with keyboard steer mod, but there's two little lines of code you can add to the Lua file, and it gives you this F and R to show you if you're in forward or reverse. So I will switch over to a screenshot in post-edit. And if you look here at the two highlighted lines, you want to open up keyboard steer Mowgli.lua inside the zip file. Look around line 225 or so and add these two render text lines. I'll put this little code snippet in the description as well. Add those two little lines, and that's what's going to render the F and the R, depending on which shuttle mode you're in. And you're off to the races. So, I hope this is helpful. It's awesome. Wait, wait, stop, Kerbo. Hey, this is future Kerbo. You forgot to tell him about the key binding for your joystick setup. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Kerbo. So, I have this bound to buttons on my G27, so I can throw it into third gear, lever forward. And I get forward, I throw it into fourth gear, lever backwards, I get reverse. So if you bring up your bindings menu, and I don't have it plugged in, but if you go to your, uh, you know, your controller you want to use, your wheel, what you want to bind is KSM direction. Sh KSM shuttle disables it, turns it on and off whether you want to use shuttle control. KSM direction is what toggles between forward and reverse. So I actually have two binds on my wheel, both uh, bound to KSM direction. So I have third gear, fourth gear. So I can just flop that back and forth and I get forward and reverse. So you can set that up however you want, but you can bind this right here in the binds from the game. KSM direction. All right, back to regular old Kerbo. Hats off. Cheers to Mowgli for making awesome mods. Catch you later. Thanks for watching.